my glasses on because Dr. Jeske fussed at me. He's a big fan. And, uh, and he sits right across from the scorer's table, right, right about second row. And so I went to the eye doctor last week before we left town. And uh, he, he said, all right, so what are we going to do? I said, what do you mean we're going to do, Doc? We're going to go win these ball games. He said, no, about your glasses. I'm like, what do you mean? He said, you keep taking them off. He said, well, you need to leave your glasses on or you're going to get contacts. He said, we're not doing contacts until the end of the season. So anyway, so Dr. Jeske's on me, and he's probably watching over there. So thanks for coming, guys. Well, I guess we don't fall behind by 19 strategy work. Yeah, 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 that wasn't exactly the strategy last time. The, the, uh, the positive about that last time is this is a team that can turn you over and, and generate offense quickly. And I, we shaved like about 10 points off that thing before the media timeout in the fourth quarter. And so they're capable of doing that, and we just got to keep working and working to where we can do that on a more consistent basis. And it really starts with – the defense, that's where it starts. And so I was real proud of the effort that we gave tonight on two of the best guards in our conference, and Jazzy on Jackson and, and, and Nia Boyd. They're two of the, the, the most dynamic guards. I mean, we've got several, and, and, and we did a decent job. When you force those two into 11 turnovers, you've done a pretty good job on defense. So I was proud of, of Lexi and, and Acacia and Teresa and, and Hope and Josie guarded up there a little bit and then we switched sometimes. It was even Karis and Jay had to guard them a few minutes. So uh, I was proud of all of them. Not just the defense, but the rebounding as well. I mean, you want it even on the board. Yeah, it, well, that's, pl that's a plus 30 from the last game. Because right. it was 52 to 22 last time. And so when you've got one of the best rebounding teams and you tie them, and, and that's just a lot of heart and effort. And Karis Allen was big. Uh, Jalen didn't get as many rebounds, but she got her hands. It doesn't show up. She gets her hands on a lot of balls, a lot of tips. And she creates a lot of disruption in there. And then we chase the ball down. And so, uh, you know, Lexi always runs in there. And I don't know how a five foot three goes get so many rebounds, but she, every night, she goes and finds balls. And, uh, who, and then uh, Maya, Maya always gets boards. And so sometimes our numbers, sometimes our numbers are, I guess, underemphasize because of the minutes and the style of play. And so sometimes we, we look at, we expect somebody to get, well, let, let's take a uh, look at, look at uh, Karis, for example. Karis had eight rebounds in 23 minutes. What's she going to have if she played 10 more minutes? Well, it's hard to play like we play for 10 more minutes. You, you get gassed. And, that, and that's kind of the design of how we play. And that puts a lot of stress on the other team. And so, so when you see eight rebounds, that's a, that's a big night. And that's a, a lot of great effort on Karis's part. I mean, just a kind of complete effort from our all around. And we were just asking with our girls in here. It seems like it's a different player every night. And tonight it seemed like it was Karis's night that really stepped up. And she made a big shot. I mean, uh, um, Casey was, was big on offense. I mean, Casey doesn't take a whole lot of bad shots, and she's a very high percentage shooter, and she ended up four for six from a three-point line. And by the way, we broke the uh, school's three-point shooting record tonight in the first half. And so, uh, but we're still, like, we shot 36%. I think maybe the next time we get a free throw, we should back up and shoot from the three-point line because <laughs> we're a little bit better there than we are at the free throw line. Honestly, I thought we were going to beat it. I thought we would have broken it last year, but we just didn't. There's some growth. There's some additions to the roster that have made a, a big difference, and and so uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, we're not even. We're still growing. We're still getting better. We're not even. We shot 36 percent tonight, and then at Birmingham, I think we shot about almost 50, right at right close to 50 or 50. But the two games prior to that. 22 and 15 percent so we're not even close to how good we can be and so we just got to keep being positive keep working hard keep believing and, and just keep pushing forward and so uh, when we when we reach closer to our potential we'll be really hard to beat Yeah, that, that's and that's a great rebounding team, and they've got great size and, and very skilled players. And Arike is one of the best 
stinking players in our whole conference, and and uh, you know, but but our players, they knew that this was going to come down to a rebound battle. And that's what it was going to. It wasn't about just making shots, and and although it's about getting stops, part of getting stops is getting that rebound and not giving up second chance opportunities. And so they bought in, and and they they really fought for that. And and you know that that speaks a lot to them because almost player for player, you you can see it. You look out there, player for player, we're smaller <laughs> than the other players on the other team. Even when they sub, we're smaller. And so uh, it just takes a lot of. Effort, a lot of heart, a lot of relentlessness, that's a word. So that's, it just takes a lot of that and, and belief. Believe in each other, uh, believe in what you're doing. Uh, unselfishness, a whole lot of unselfishness. You see, you know, they don't care if, if Karis Allen made maybe the biggest shot of the night. Nobody cared. Everybody was excited that we wanted her to take that shot. She's a good shooter. Next game, it could be somebody else. It could be Josie Gilvin, it could be Casey Hayes, it could be Macy Blevins with a three, it could be anybody. And so that's part of the strength of our team is that we are a team. Um, with, now you know when Saturday you're the two seed. Yeah, you made, you made it sound a lot easier than we still have to show up and play. <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah. What I'm saying. I mean, what the good, the positive thing is we knew coming into today that number one, we're at home. That's great because we got our fans, we got our court, we got our beds to sleep in, but we were in control of our own destiny. So if we don't, we've had a couple other opportunities this season to determine our outcome as well, and we've we just didn't get the job done. And so tonight we knew we didn't have to talk about it. The players knew what was at stake, and so we're still in control of that. And so that's all we can that's all we can control is show up and give our absolute best effort and. If we do that, I think we'll be okay, and, and, and we'll have a shot at this. North Texas is a good team, and they've beaten some good teams in this conference. And so I think uh, – I don't know that our conference has ever been this close. Now, and I think Middle Tennessee has separated themselves fairly obviously, but, but everybody else – I told you guys two months ago that UTSA could beat anybody, and now you're seeing that. You're seeing that, and, and they could come in this turn. I just hope they end up on the other side, on the other side someplace. So, uh, and our conference is like that. And UAB, UAB has to be the absolute best team in the country on the bottom of their conference. I mean, they got players that can shoot. They got they got a dynamic little point guard in the Shields. They got a great post player in McGee. And so, you know, our conference is very compact. And I think I think the fans are in for a very exciting tournament. Speaking of the conference. Yeah, I think the number one thing is it, they don't really lose their poise. Now, there was one possession tonight that, uh, and actually Kevin took a timeout, and we had to talk about, or maybe it was an official review, but we had to talk about, like, you're in control. So don't lose your cool. Don't lose, and they've not done that very much this year, but there was one possession where we looked a little – rattled, a little, not rattled, but we were just a little spaced and we weren't real confident in what we were doing. But for the most part, other than that, like, our decisions aren't always perfect, but I'd, I'd rather make an aggressive decision and make a mistake than make a passive mistake by not making any decision at all. And so uh, sometimes we make mistakes in those decisions, but we can learn from those. And so I, I really feel like this team, they don't get rattled in close games. They don't get rattled if they're down 19. They, they're just going to keep playing hard, and it makes you proud when you're when you're, you're with a team and the kids just play hard. Period. Anything else? Thank y'all for coming.